Hi, today I want to talk about the Muslim issue. Now, it's it was a really big hot item in the news for a little while. It's kind of calmed down now. Um, I didn't want to stir the flames, so to speak. But I do have some opinions on this. Um, Muslims that are already in America today face persecution. Um, the the prejudice against them is is it worse? It's worse than what the blacks are facing. And uh, prejudice is alive and well in America today, people. Um, I think I think it's true that many Americans are afraid that a Muslim might be a terrorist. I think many, maybe even most, do not want Muslim refugees here. I think many and, and maybe most want to export, export all the Muslims that are already here. But let's think about this for a minute. And of course I'm coming at this from a Christian perspective. I'm speaking specifically to Christians here. I have known uh, many Muslims in my life, uh, a couple very well and a few more, so-so, eh, and a few more just casually. Um, my experience tells me that the vast majority of Muslims are very peaceful people. Um, they believe that's what the Quran teaches them and that what we see as Muslim terrorists is a small minority of Muslims. It's sort of like um, there are some radical Christian extremist groups that most Christians don't want to be affiliated with. Um, so, of course there are exceptions. Um, you know, and, and not just whites and Muslims, but blacks, Chinese, whatever. Um, I, I don't care what group you're with. Um, but I want to look at this from a religious standpoint. I understand that terrorism is a, a whole new thing to most people. The truth is, uh, terrorism is something that oftentimes the minorities face and the majorities don't. Sometimes the majorities feel the wrath of the minorities and this has been true throughout history. Um, so let's, let's kind of consider this. Um, when, when, for instance, the Romans conquered a land, oftentimes there was resistance for very many years. And uh, by definition it was probably called terrorism of that day it's just the level of damage that can be done now is much more extreme which is also true of the level of damage done by our weapons in warfare but at one point the the Christian world was attacking the Muslims over and over and over it was called the Crusades no doubt they saw white Christianity as militant extremists that should be feared. Um, if you're a white Christian, our ancestors were attacking their ancestors, the Muslims' ancestors, the Muslims of today. They grew up hearing those stories. Does that mean that all Christians were like that? No. In fact, most Christians stayed at home. Um, some who participated in the Crusades were misled, which is probably true of the Muslim extremist terrorists today. But let's look at this from an even more historical perspective. Once upon a time, the first white people to settle in America were Christians who came here because they were being persecuted by Christians. Of course, then the uh, American Indians probably thought the white people were extremists, terrorists, and came to destroy their land and their people, which we did. If you study history, um, just between disease and warfare, we, we wiped out 
80, 90 percent of the American Indian population throughout the North and South America. Um, so now we see the same thing. There are Muslims being persecuted by other Muslims. White Christians came to America because they're being persecuted by white Christians. Now we've got Muslims that want to come to America because they're being persecuted by Muslims. And so we're afraid that they might bring in some terrorists with them. Well, I got news for you. Terrorists can get into this country easily without posing as, as refugees. And they've done it in the past and what makes us think we're going to keep them out now. Um, as a Christian, um, I don't know how to say it except to say that I welcome everybody. I'm probably not going to be very popular for this, but that's all right. I'm just speaking what I believe. You don't have to believe the same as me. But if we're a Christian, we're supposed to love our neighbor as ourself. We're supposed to love our enemies. Jesus taught those things. He used stories like the Good Samaritan. He said it straight out in Luke chapter 6. He said, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. If I have somebody that believes differently than me, that is near me, then I have an opportunity to share my faith with them. I don't fear terrorism. Christians, if you are opposed to people coming into this country because of the color of their skin, or because of the nature of their faith, whether it be Muslim or Hindu or whatever, then I think the proper words are, shame on you. And for those who don't believe that way, if we don't speak up, then I say, shame on us.